In this video, we are going to talk about how I rotate using Ruby. First, I'm going to spam my first skill while I move, so I can position myself before my enemy ducks. I will not go straight to my lane, but instead, I will go first in the red buff before going to the bush near my lane. By doing this, I can prevent enemies from invading our buff. And the reason that I position myself in the bush is also to prevent my enemy from cutting off my lane. I can stay in that bush if the enemy decided not to clear the wave. Because there are enemies who will not clear the lane and just prevent you from taking any minions. So that you will not gain any experience or gold. But that will only happen if you stay inside of your tower. But if you are in the bush without the enemy knowing, then you will still gain X and gold. In level 1, I'm just measuring my enemy's strength, so I will be able to know if I can be aggressive or not. Because if I become too defensive, then the enemy will just take the lead, and I won't be able to roam in the mid lane. Because as an experienced laner, I also have the responsibilities in the mid lane. Always remember that side lane enter should be responsible in half of the map. It means I have to take care both the mid lane and X lane. Here, my hook will miss because Thamus hid in the bush before I was able to hook him. Mobile Legends didn't detect him so it automatically aimed the crap. This is what happens when you rely too much on the auto aim. The reason that I am not rotating in the mid lane as much as my other game is because I see no objective from doing it. I will only do it when I see an objective. You see, you always have to act based on your objections, not solely based on your instinct. I will give you an example later. They could have killed me if they didn't all attack me in front. They should have taken me both at front and rear. When the turtle is about to spawn, try to cut off the enemy lane so you will be able to help your team kill the turtle while the enemy will take their time clearing the wave first. And even if they go straight to turtle, then they will lose a wave. The reason I did not do that here is because I don't know where the enemies are and Thamus will most likely destroy me if I overextend myself out there.
This is the sample I was talking about earlier. I saw my team clashing around the purple buff, so I decided to push the mid tower since it is unguarded. I also decided to push the bottom lane, but it is hard to push it when Nathan is the one who's defending it.
shivering. 